men who have an enlarged prostate may experience sexual dysfunction. Many of them need to have benign prostate hyperplasia related drugs or operations. And this can lead to erectile dysfunction and other sexual problems. As men age, their testosterone levels usually decline. By early adulthood, they reach their peak. And starting around age 40, testosterone levels decline by up to 1% annually. Welcome to Medical Maint Easy. In this video, we are going to talk about sex and the prostate, overcoming erectile dysfunction when you have prostate disease. Can an enlarged prostate cause erectile dysfunction? Low testosterone. Diagnosing erectile dysfunction. How long does erectile dysfunction last after prostate surgery? Overcoming erectile dysfunction when you have prostate disease. Living with erectile dysfunction or ED can make managing an enlarged prostate even more challenging. When the penis is unable to sustain an erection long enough for sexual activity. Erectile dysfunction results. Over half of males over 40 have erectile dysfunction to some extent. Similar to benign prostate hyperplasia, ED can make you and your partner's quality of life worse. It is critical to comprehend the nature of erectile dysfunction. If you are worried about your ability to erect, it is not erectile dysfunction if you cannot get an erection one night after drinking a lot or if you can't get one for a week or longer, while you are under a lot of emotional stress. Almost all men experience periodic difficulties achieving an erection, and most partners are aware of this. The inability to achieve and sustain an erection strong enough for sexual activity for at least 25% of the time is known as erectile dysfunction. Frequently, the issue emerges gradually. Getting an erection one night can take longer or include more stimulation. The erection could not be as strong or it might end before the orgasm occurs on a different date. When these issues recur frequently, it's time to consult your physician. Numerous conditions, such as some types of prostate cancer, drugs, and surgery, can result in erectile dysfunction. Fortunately, there are numerous instances when this issue can be resolved successfully. Taking medication to address erectile dysfunction helps some men. There are also alternative solutions available, such as injections and vacuum devices. Can an enlarged prostate cause erectile dysfunction? Even though an enlarged prostate does not cause erectile dysfunction, it is important to discuss potential side effects of benign prostate hyperplasia therapies with your doctor in order to understand how they may influence your ability to maintain an erection. A negative effect of several benign prostate hyperplasia treatments is diminished sex drive and erectile dysfunction. For example, research has demonstrated a link between erectile dysfunction and some anti-testosterone medications. In the event that your doctor determines that drug therapy is ineffective, in treating your BPH, a surgical procedure, to remove, the excess prostate tissue may be recommended. However, there are adverse effects associated with surgical treatments. It has also been demonstrated that ED can occur in a small number of men following transurethral resection of the prostate or TERP a popular surgical procedure discussed in some of my previous videos. Rhizum 
TM water vapor therapy is a less invasive DPH treatment option that you and your doctor may talk about. Rhizom therapy preserves sexual function while treating the underlying cause of BPH by eliminating excess prostate tissue that is creating problems with the urination. This is done by harnessing the inherent energy found in water vapor. Men treatment with rhizom therapy for their BPH did not experience procedure-related ED. According to a five-year clinical trial, additionally, it demonstrated that the males who received rhizom therapy had better quality of life. It was once believed that the majority of erectile dysfunction instances had psychological roots and were caused by issues like performance anxiety or more widespread stress. Although erectile dysfunction can be brought on by these variables, medical professionals now believe that 70% of cases of the ailment can be linked to a physical issue that impairs nerve function, restricts blood flow, or both. Diabetes, renal disease, multiple sclerosis, atherosclerosis, vascular disease, and alcoholism are a few examples. On the other hand, certain forms of prostate cancer and their treatments could also be to blame. A portion of the nerves or arteries required for an erection may be severed during prostate cancer surgery. The percentage of men who regain their ability to get an erection after a radical prostatectomy removal of prostate gland varies greatly, ranging from 25% to 80 percent in up to 50 percent or more of the instances even so-called nerve sparing surgical methods result in ed the age of the patient the surgeon's experience and the position of the tumor if a tumor is too close to the nerve bundle the nerves cannot be spared all effects the outcome. It can take 6 to 18 months for the microscopic nerve fibers to heal from the stress of surgery and regain sexual function, even in cases when the nerves are not permanently damaged. Prostate cancer radiation therapy can also damage the tissues involved in erection. About half of men who receive radiation therapy, including external beam radiation and radiation emitting seeds implanted in the prostate, experience erectile dysfunction. These modifications, meanwhile, might not show up for up to two years following therapy. Low testosterone. As people age, their testosterone levels usually decline. By early adulthood, they reach their peak. And starting around age 40, they can decline by up to 1% annually. An unexpected fall can occasionally be caused by an illness or injury, such as infection, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or specific drugs. Though it has a significant impact on men's health, the hormone testosterone may be most important for promoting sex drive. Men may have poor libido and ED if their testosterone levels go too low. Prostatitis Prostate gland inflammation can be either acute, typically brought on by bacterial infection, or chronic, usually not brought on by an infectious agent. The symptoms include pain when urinating, increased frequency of urination, and possibly a fever or penile discharge. 
direct erectile dysfunction causes might result from severe prostatitis. In its milder versions, the illness may cause painful ejaculation, which can undoubtedly impede sexual enjoyment and possibly result in erectile dysfunction. Diagnosing erectile dysfunction even while medication is a common part of therapy, ED can be a sign of a different issue that needs to be treated separately. Additionally, certain causes of ED respond better to medicine than others. In the case of a prostate surgery patient, medication is unlikely to be as effective as other therapies. Additionally, you can benefit from psychotherapy with a mental health specialist who has received training in sex therapy if there is a major psychological component. An assessment by a physician is necessary if ED appears suddenly and could indicate prostate cancer. Following radiation, surgery or hormone therapy for prostate cancer, ED may also develop. How long does erectile dysfunction last after prostate surgery? ED is not a certain consequence of prostate surgery. The kind of procedure and other individual characteristics such as history of sexual dysfunction will determine this. Certain treatments such as prostatic urethral lift have been reported in studies to largely preserve sexual function. If the operation has an impact on sexual activity, such as erectile function, it usually returns normal within a year, assuming that no uncommon consequences such as nerve injury arise. It is important to remember that ED is highly prevalent in BPH patients and many of them discover that following surgery, their erectile function returns. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope this video was informative for you. If you think so, please do not forget to hit the subscribe and like button. Also, share it with the ones you love. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.